Nolagen here at Hi Hat. Good stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Southern Restaurant Review Vlog, we're on a travel search for best burger and seafood options in the New Orleans area. Visiting Hi Hat Cafe, which is a southern food restaurant that focuses on Louisiana and Mississippi Delta food, which results in a culinary experience of southern United States cuisine at its finest. Hi Hat Cafe is located in New Orleans at 4500 Ferret Street at the intersection of Jenna and Ferret Streets, which is about four miles and 12 minutes away from the New Orleans French Quarter. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. This place is a bit like an old school southern meat and three joint, except here it's more like a meat and one, but it is more of an upscale kind of place and you can order more sides, it just doesn't come at a cheap price. So it is a nice place, you get some nice quality food here, and at the same time though, you are paying a bit of a higher price than you ever would in those traditional meat and three joints. Well, you also get some food here you don't typically find in a lot of those traditional meat and three joints. So they've got a nice atmosphere inside, it's very spacious, and they've got a lot of photographs in here from back when this was another business back in the day. It was an old bakery. I'm going to be setting up at the bar to eat today, and as you can tell, they've got uh, quite a nice little space here. And I've got a good view of the whole rest of the restaurant, so essentially it's one big wide open space. It just has a little divider wall separating the bar from the main dining area. And then we can look right into the kitchen here and see everything being prepared. So that's always a nice experience. So let's go ahead and check out this menu now. So we have appetizers with chicken and andouille gumbo yaya, copper bowl, pimento cheese plate, barbecue golf shrimp, I have boudin, Salads with shrimp roumoulade and wedge salad, Cecil salad, appetizer dinner size, and we can add grilled chicken, shrimp, or catfish, or fried oysters. Po boys and sandwiches with fries, or you can substitute for another side for a dollar more. Slow roasted pork po boy, catfish po boy, shrimp po boy, fried oyster roumoulade po boy, Cuban sandwich, Reuben sandwich, fried catfish baskets, large, small, or whole catfish. Then we have Angus Beef Burgers with Flat Top Burger, Hi Hat Burger, Barbecue Bacon Burger, One-Eyed Bacon Cheese Burger, and you can add all these other toppings here to your burger sandwich as well. And then we have Hot Plates, Barbecue Golf Shrimp with one side, Smoke Roasted Half Chicken with one side, Slow Roasted Pork with one side, Flat Top Catfish with one side, Fresh Golf Fish Special, Vegetable Plate with Cornbread, and you can choose three sides, and then sides and vegetables with stewed okra and tomatoes, coleslaw, braised greens, black-eyed peas, sweet potato salad, hush puppies, stone ground grits, vegetarian green beans, pimento cheese grits, green beans with apple smoked bacon, pimento mac and cheese, and you can get a basket of hand cut fries, pimento cheese fries, cornbread by the slice, and cornbread basket. On the next page, we have the kids menu with catfish fingers, fried shrimp, chicken fingers, grilled cheese, grilled ham and cheese, and mini burger. And we have a selection of beverages with fountain drinks, with iced tea, lemonade, and then ginger ale, root beer, ginger rosemary iced tea or lemonade, hibiscus soda or tea, and fizzy apricot punch. Then we have desserts with a grills with, which is caramelized glazed donut with vanilla bean ice cream, a beta root beer float, chocolate chest pie, pie with ice cream, bowl of Quentin's handmade ice cream, and then we have bottled beers and draft beers. Then we have a selection of wines with white, red, and rosé. Then we also have a selection of cocktails to look through. So I got a cheeseburger with a side of the sweet potato potato salad. And let's go ahead and dig into this burger. So I have had the burgers here before. They've always been nice and juicy. And as you can see, there's a lot of meat on here. A very thick piece of uh, hamburger patty on there. Plenty of juiciness in there. And it looks to be cooked quite perfectly. Of course, we have this big honking piece of lettuce here, which might impact structural integrity somewhat. And oh, whoa, that was unexpected. So we had quite a significant amount of the beef patty completely break apart and fall away. 
So, uh, we might have to do a little surgery here. All right, woohoo. Yes, we had the majority of the beef patty escape. So, uh, structural integrity completely failed on this burger, unfortunately. It is still juicy, delicious, and quite tasty, though, I will say. There's just a whole lot of stuff on here, though. So, the structural integrity with the sheer amount of toppings on here can uh, make it for a uh, challenging situation. And, uh, majority of times I've uh, had a burger with so much stuff on here, especially those big slices of lettuce. Uh, from my experience, I would say certainly shredded lettuce tends to far outperform these big single pieces of lettuce. So just a tip for any places looking to improve your burger, shred your lettuce into smaller pieces and you're going to have less slipping and sliding with the big pieces of the lettuce. Now, uh, you know, it's still a nice burger experience. They do have quite a nice burger here. So other than our uh, meat disintegration there, on average, I find the burgers here pretty darn good. And they certainly have fantastic flavors. So you might do better and not have a complete disintegration of your meat like I did this time. I've had the burgers here several times before and they never disintegrated quite like this. However, it's such a big juicy patty of meat that that sometimes happens with a bigger piece burger there so when your burger patty is massive you sometimes have massive risk of structural failure okay that burger went down quick and easy and now we've got to get a few of these leftovers for a third meal that fell out so we still have a few scraps of different vegetables and pieces of meat that are all about the plate still but now we're going to dig into the sweet potato potato salad and oh yes this is far superior to just regular potato salad I think all potato salad should be sweet potato salad. This has a lot of great flavor to it. So I definitely do endorse this as a great side item here. And I might just rank this as my all time favorite version of a potato salad. As, ooh, I do love some sweet potatoes and uh, I think they do make for a mighty fine potato salad far and above the flavors you get from the other kinds of white potatoes. Look at there, that went down really quick, didn't it? So now, just like I've totally destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this burger. And while you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon account as I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $22.04. On my next visit, I decided to order off the specials board here, and I got the pan-roasted pompano with red rice, baby lima beans, and pickled shrimp except I substituted the okra for the red rice. Ooh, I'm gonna start with these pickled shrimp as they look quite fantastic. Now, let's see if they taste as good as they look, and oh yes indeed they do. There's a lot of fantastic stuff going on in here. We have some capers in there. Looks like some little pickled onions as well. Lots of great flavors. A little bit of the pickled lemon in there also, all going together to make for fantastic flavors. So that was a very nice dish there. Now we have the pompano right here, and the skin just easily comes off right here. Whoa, this is a beautiful piece of fish. Now typically, Galatoise gets the first pick of the top pompano that comes in. This uh, also looks like a pretty good piece of fish though. Let's see, and oh, yes indeed. Very delicious, perfectly cooked. I am enjoying this pompano. It is a very nice, delicate flesh on this pompano meat. Now we've got the lima beans or butter beans as some people call them. So here we go and good flavors right there. And of course, we've got to try this okra with tomatoes. A little okra with stewed tomatoes is always a good choice, I think. And uh, sometimes in New Orleans, they'll even put some little shrimp in the okra too. That's the way I like it kicked up even more. So definitely good flavors in the stewed okra. And there's lots of fantastic things on my plate here. I think this might be the all around best dish I've ever had here in Hi Hat. So I'm gonna give this dish two thumbs up for just the sheer amount of beautiful, wonderful, delicious things in here. Everything's cooked exactly the way I would like it. It is hitting all the flavor things that I would do if I was cooking it on my own. So, ooh, yes indeed. So these baby lima beans, butter beans are always flavorful things. As a kid, my grandmother would be shelling them. I would just eat the butter beans raw all the time. That's how much I like them. I actually prefer them raw over cooked for the most part. 
There we go with another bite of the delicious pompano. And ooh, such an amazing, wonderful fish. And you know, it's uh, very uncommon to see pompano outside of New Orleans in my experience. I'm not sure why exactly. I know they catch a lot of it down in Florida too. And people will eat it when they catch it. It's just uh, unusual to see it on restaurant menus for some reason. It is a great fish. More people should eat it, I would say, but uh, maybe not too many. I want to keep a uh, little little bit of it left for myself. Now, certainly, if you've never been to Galatoire's restaurant and had the pompano there, I highly suggest you go and try that if you get the opportunity. And they do have pompano here at Hi-Hat. It just doesn't seem to be as common as it will be at Galatoire's. So you might want to call ahead and see what they have for their daily special as their daily specials change daily. So I'm really not sure how frequently they have pompano on their menu. So it could be a matter of what's available that given week or that given day that's freshest, that's what they're gonna get. If you really wanna try the pompano here, you probably need to call and check in to see. Now here we go with my last bite of okra. And now, just like I've totally destroyed this pompano with the vegetables, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this wonderful plate of food. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips. I appreciate any help with that. Well, that was such a nice, healthy plate of food. I decided to get an apple pie a la mode for dessert as it's time to be a little bit naughty now. And this is a, a nice, indeed, slice of apple pie along with a huge scoop of ice cream with it. And a nice uh, amount of whipped cream on top of everything as well here. So this is going to be quite a nice dessert to get through. Ah, ooh, look at here. So nice little vanilla bean flavors coming through and the ice cream. And then we've got a little of the whipped cream that'll go well with this apple pie as well. So mm -hmm, here we go. And let's see how this goes together. And there we go. Perfect combo of the whipped cream apple pie and the ice cream it's a match definitely made in heaven some people might say so i am uh, certainly enjoying my pie experience thoroughly now uh you know there could be a bit more apple and here i guess would be the only change i could make because hey i always want more apple in my apple pie so that way you've got a, a little more uh, apple healthy fruit to go with all the naughtier parts on this plate so i can feel like I'm doing a little more healthy eating. So I'm sure the crust of the pie is pretty high in carbs and sugar and the uh, filling of the pie probably has a fair amount of sugar as does the ice cream. So I might be uh, getting a little more naughtiness here than healthiness overall, but hey, you know, cream, milk's healthy, the apples are healthy and uh, whatever grain they made the pie crust out of is theoretically healthy too, right? Uh, it's just balancing that out with the amount of sugar that I'm doing today. This is certainly uh, quite an enjoyable dessert. Now we'll just kind of fast forward to my last bite of the pie. And ooh, here we go. And we polish the pie off. We still have a huge amount of ice cream here though. So you are definitely going to have quite a filling experience with the desserts here. They are making sure you're well fed with the dessert category. And here we go with my last bite of the ice cream. Oh, and now, just like I totally destroyed this apple pie all the mode, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this apple pie all the mode. And while you're down there, make sure to check out Think my Patreon account as I do it for tips. I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total before tip was $42.98. So thanks so much to everybody at Hi-Hat for some delicious food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nola Jet channel, especially to my Patreons. Now, if you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it. And then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nola Jet here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.